Hello everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with the More, and today I have a quick and easy project for you. This would be great for a birthday party. Um, I'm actually, actually using retired paper on this one because UPS let me down and um, <laughs> they did not get my package to me yesterday. So we're going to see what they do today because they've done this to me before and I'm really disappointed. <laughs> but anyway, this one was my original one. I actually created this myself. I don't know if there's anything out there like this. I haven't seen anything. Hopefully it's something new that you can try, but it would be really cute for, like I said, a birthday party. But this one we're going to do a little bit more on the mature level. And you can use it for like a tea party or get together with um, some lady friends. It would be really cute to give to your friends and co-workers at work. But anyway, this is what I'm sharing. So it's really, really easy. So you should be able to make a bunch of these. All right, let's get started. We are going to use the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. And I'm using this print right here. This is available now. It is in the new annual catalog and this piece is nine by six and a half. Then you're going to need a piece of Whisper White for our sentiment and this is one and three quarters by four. That's all you need for this project. That's why I said it'd be really easy. So I am using the Lovely You, and I'm using Trust Me, You're, you're Lovely, because as women, don't we have to boost each other up? <laughs> and then I'm using this flower, and I'm using these leaves, and maybe that right there. I haven't decided yet, because I'm kind of doing this on the fly, this one, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to score this piece. And we are going to score it on the 9 inch side. Now when you score designer series paper, always use the fatter side of the stylus. The smaller one is for cardstock and the thicker one is for um, designer series paper. The reason being that when you um, score it, it's not pushing it deep into these grooves and ripping your designer series paper. All right, so we are going to score this. I'm going to score it on the opposite side. We're going to score this on the 9-inch side at 2 and 7. And then you're going to turn it, and you're going to score it on the 6.5-inch side at 1 half, 1 and a half, 3 and a half, and four and a half. And that is all of your scoring. Now you don't really have to use your bone folder for this because it is designer series paper. And I pretty much just use my fingers to sharpen all these score marks. You can use it. This is pretty thick designer series paper. It's not gonna hurt it, but I just usually so used to using my fingers on this. And I know it's a little busy and hard to see, but I'm going to try to explain this. It's really, really easy. So this is your half inch side right here. We are going to line this with some tear and tape to find the end. I'm getting down to the end. I do have more, so, so it's going to put it right on the edge. And then we'll remove that backing. And then you're just going to line these up. And then what you're going to do, you're just going to use your fingers and you're going to just flatten this all the way down. Now I used my bone folder for this once I got it all the way down. So you're just going to flatten it like that. And I just did sharpen it with my bone folder. 
All right, so what you're gonna do now is um, there are your two inch score mark here and then your seven down here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna use this perennial flower punch. And what I'm doing here, I marked right here about halfway. So I'm just gonna insert it in here. I'm gonna line up. I know it's hard to see, but I'm gonna try to explain it well. I'm lining up this point with the score mark right there and then you're just going to punch it and this is just like making a cracker like a Christmas cracker but it's a little different and then you're going to do the same on this side you're going to put that in there you're going to line that score mark with the point here that's why I like this one, but if you have a circle punch, you can use a circle punch and just mark it halfway. And then this one the same. You can just mark it halfway with the circle punch and then just punch the sides. This one works so good because of the point. All right, now we're going to just pop these back open. I'm going to grab my ribbon. And the ribbon I'm using is the two pack of the Ornate Garden Ribbon Combo Pack. I'm going to use the, I believe this is Old Olive. I'm not positive because it didn't have the name on there, but it looks like Old Olive. All right, so I'm just going to tie a bow here. It's either Old Olive or Pear Pizzazz. It's really pretty ribbon and it ties really nice. And then you're going to stick your bone folder in here and you're just going to pop it back up the ends and the sides. So it kind of pops out there. And I did bring some chocolates up here, so I'm going to just use some Dove chocolates and fill it. Make sure you fill it um, before you put in your other ribbon. It fits in a good amount of candy. I think that's pushing it if I put another one in it. So then we're going to take this and we're going to tie another bow on the other side. This is really pretty, this paper with it. And then we'll trim this ribbon. I need to tie a better bow than that. You know me with my bows. I will fool with them forever. But I have to get it right. There we go. That's much better. And we'll trim this. You can see how quick these can go. Now you can eat also pop up the sides on this. Once you get them tied, you can pop it up and it gives it even more dimension. Isn't that cute how that is? And then we're going to do our sentiment we're going to put on there. So let me grab that. I'm going to use some Memento Black um, for the Just Trust Me You're Lovely. So we're going to stamp that. And then we're just going to dress it up a little bit. I'm going to use some Blushing Bride and some Rococo Rose for the flowers. So we're going to do a couple Rococo. Well, let's do the leaves first. I'm going to use Old Olive for the leaf. This may be Old Olive, too. I'm not sure. There's so many it could be. So I'm going to put some leaves on this side and we're going to do some on that side and then we're going to add our flowers it'd be easier to add the flowers and 
And then I think we're going to use just two flowers and one flower, one with, those are the Rococo Rose, and then I'm going to do one with the Blushing Bride, just to give it a little bit of a contrast there. This one we'll put over here. And then there's our little tag for it. All right, so let's go ahead and attach this. I'm just going to use some snail. And then we're going to put that on the top here. I got it off centered. Okay, there we go. All right, so there you have it. Isn't that cute? I thought they came out so cute, and it's a little bit different. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed it. If you need any supplies, you can go to my blog at stampingwithamore.com and shop for my blog. Here's the June Hostess code. And also, um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. I am going to be doing a giveaway for my 25,000 subscribers that I just hit. Um, but so stay, stay tuned for that. It's probably going to be announced in my Sunday video. All right, everyone, have a blessed one, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.